Sanibonan, Tobel, Huyedach. Dear staff and students, as you would agree, 2019 has arguably been one of the most eventful and successful years. Through our collective efforts, dedication and commitment, we pushed frontiers as we continued with our mission to set our university on a new growth trajectory in keeping with our global excellence in stature, GES 4.0 strategic objective. As the academic year draws to a close, there cannot be a more fitting way to celebrate our achievements than rewarding excellence, whether in research and innovation, teaching and learning, and other areas. Yesterday, Thursday, the 14th of November, 2019, at the Vice Chancellor's Distinguished Awards, I had the privilege to honor our colleagues who have performed their academic duties with diligence and served beyond the call of duty. The most promising young teacher of the year awards were presented to Dr. Andrew Craig in the Faculty of Science and Dr. Marius van Staden in the Faculty of Law. Dr. Jacqueline Bachelor from the Faculty of Education and Professor Sunei von Solom from the Faculty of Engineering and the Build Environment backed the Teacher Excellence Awards. Dr. Sherry Kruger from the Faculty of Health Sciences and Professor Tankiso Muloi from the College of Business and Economics shared the most promising Young Researcher of the Year Award. Professor Reynold Maybaum from the Faculty of Science took the Outstanding Researcher of the Year Award. Dr. Ade Abijola and Dr. Marius Waite scooped the Innovation of the Year Awards. And lastly, Ms. Goodness Ndimande from the Protection Services was honored for her service beyond the normal call of duty. I would like to express my gratitude to all of you for making UJ great. Likewise, please also join me in congratulating Professor Anesh Teluk Dari and Tankiso Mloi for receiving two newly funded research and innovation chairs in the fourth industrial revolution. These are the Food and Beverage Manufacturing CETA and the Education, Training and Development Practices CETA chairs. The support will be used for project and program development with the CETA supporting postgraduate students and complementing the ongoing 4 IR drive at our university. Well done. It does not end there. Congratulations to Professor Veli Mitova, Professor of Philosophy in the Faculty of Humanities, for her professorial inauguration on Tuesday, the 12th, November 2019. In her inaugural address titled, How to Decolonize Knowledge Without Relativism, Professor Mitova argued that in our efforts to decolonize knowledge, science, and our university curricula, we need to accord different perspectives equal epistemic authority. She maintained that the imperative to decolonize is an absolute one and cannot be supported by relativistic arguments. Professor Mitova, well done. On Wednesday, 13 November 2019, our university and the family of the late uh, Flory Daniels, including representatives of organizations that she helped establish, unveiled the Flory Daniels Lecture Halls at the Auckland Park Kingsway campus. These renamed venues were formerly known as A Ring G01 and G02 and were recently built to provide state of the art teaching and learning spaces for our increasing student intake. As you would recall, UJ embarked on a process of naming and renaming buildings and spaces of our campuses since the establishment of the naming committee in 2008. Ms. Daniels was born in Ranfontein in 1925 and passed away in Westbury at the age of 90 in 2015. She devoted 60 years of her life 
to selfless community activism, leading significant campaigns for better housing and living conditions, early childhood development and preventative health care. Her impressive achievements, despite the humiliation of the apartheid system, included the establishment of creches for preschool children, a successful campaign for a branch of the St. John's Eye Hospital in Western Township. She was also a founding member of a committee that initiated the Westbury Clinic and the Westbury Residence Action Committee. The naming and renaming process is meaningful to our university and will continue for the unforeseeable future. Also on Wednesday, the 13th November, our university held the annual Eric Mulobi Memorial Lecture at the Council Chamber. This year's lecture was organized under the theme the role of higher education in international relations, soft power versus knowledge diplomacy. Professor Jane Knight, a distinguished visiting professor at the University of Johannesburg Ali Mazrui Center for Higher Education Studies and the Faculty of Education, delivered the lecture. Lastly, I would like to commend two of our students, Ms. Mary Harvey and Ms. Kutazo Mukitle for being selected for the 2020 Mandela Rhodes Scholarships. They joined 52 other exceptional young African leaders following a lengthy and challenging selection process. Go make UJ proud. I wish you well in your future academic endeavors. With my very best wishes, enjoy your weekend. Thank you very much. Bye, Danki. Nia